Welcome to NXP's eCockpit Showcase. There's a lot to unpack and a lot to show you here, so let's get started. First of all, we've been developing uh, infotainment and cluster solutions using our advanced application processors for decades. And the main purpose behind that is to be able to create an experience inside of the car that not only entertains, it's informative, but it's also safe. Um, what we're showing today are a classic two-screen setup. You have a cluster, which is for the driver, allows us to see where we're going, what gear we're in, what uh, speed we're at, as well as an infotainment screen. So this is where I'm gonna have maps, where I can see where I'm going, I can change my climate, or uh, climate controls inside the car, as well as see status information. And they really uh, have two different roles in life. Let's start with the safety part, because I mentioned that at the beginning. The cluster is really information that wants to keep my eyes on the road and only momentarily look at what information's in there. Sometimes you have a heads up display. Our chips are optimized to display both. But here's the deal. If the information that's on that screen were to glitch for some reason, you have to make sure that you correct it for the driver, otherwise they may get confused. If the miles per hour were to suddenly uh, go into a state where you're not actually representing how fast you're going, it becomes a safety issue. So our chips are designed from the ground up to be able to go in and detect those types of er er errors, inform the system they've, ha they've happened, but most importantly, do something about them. And that's something we build into our current generation, IMX8, and for our future generation chips. Now let's get over to the entertainment stuff. So one of the key things about what's happening at automotive is not only the content that we want to be able to put up, we want to have pretty 3D graphics. We want to be able to watch videos. If you have children in the back, you want to be able to watch the latest uh, videos for them to entertain them on those long trips. But we also have to have very smooth, very fast 3D graphics so that when the information's there, you're not seeing a flickering screen and it looks pretty, it's eye attractant without being something that uh, uh, confuses you on what you're trying to look at. It has to be accessible either through a, a touch screen or some cars use control knobs. Both interfaces uh, have to be optimized to use. The last one is you'll notice these screens themselves. The car environment is quite unique. This isn't sitting in front of your big uh, media room inside your home. You have a very limited amount of real estate that you want to maximize. So one of the key things we're optimized for are stretch screens. You can see that with two different screens, we're going pillar to pillar. Our chips are actually optimized to have a single screen go pillar to pillar if we'd like to with the safety and the 3D graphics aspects still intact. So let's talk a little bit about the software because the hardware is there. What you have to really to make this thing turn, uh, become alive is the software on top of it. So NXP uh, as a standard offering will provide different operating systems. There's Android Auto, there is Linux, there's QNX, there's Green Hills. There's a lot of different solutions that are out there. But let's talk about how you get the content on it. So one of our partners is Altia. Now Altia has been in the business for quite some time and this is actually our fourth uh, year collaborating with them to do solutions like this. So their tool chain is optimized for NXP processors, not just at the high end, which this is one of our high end IMX8 Quad Max, but all the way down our lineup to the IMX RT. And the great thing about the Altia solution is you can mix and match content based on what you want the user to see and then you can output it to whichever processor it's running on. So you can imagine having a small status screen right here, or maybe even a rear view mirror being driven by an IMX RT. It's using the same Altia uh, tool chain, the same type of content, just mixed and matched for different targets, whether it's a uh, target of Android running on IMX8 Quad Max, or Linux running on a lower end processor, all the way down to uh, real time operating systems. So it's a fantastic collaboration. You should definitely check out Altia's solutions as well as NXP's advanced IMX application processors.